Do you have a video card gaming that system put together? Yeah, you know, I, I have a lot of gaming systems right now. I actually have four. In fact, I have like five right here sitting here. Really good options to have, you know, but some of these things are not, you know, set to go. But this one, if you buy off the box and ready to go, I did an in-depth. I'm going to post it up today. It's still, I actually finished the video a couple minutes ago. I'm just here to do a Q&A, kind of get a head start. And I'm going to post this video right now, have it out there and see how it goes but let me track this guy still I, I got his IP address but I'm trying to see if I could get post his address and where he lives or whoever's internet he's using I'm sorry I'm sorry if I do that to you but we're just gonna play your game and see how it goes I could get banned for this shit for posting your shit up I could care less <laughs> to be honest with you so I'm gonna see if I could get this guy. Give me a second, guys. I'll, I'll see if I, I'm trying to track this guy right now. What the fuck? There he goes. It's not hard to track people. Some people are idiots for saying it's racist stuff like that. You know, if you want, I could send every every freaking person that that you said stuff like that. You hurt people's feelings to your house. Imagine the tables have turned. Imagine when you go to school. It, it, not even if you go to school, if you go to work or you don't have a fucking job, you know, that's as simple as that, you know, just by turning to, to stuff like this, you know, if I, if I turn your ass into these kind of people, you know, it's just one of those things that you don't want. So don't start fucking think about what you're saying when you come in, you do your racist shit, you know, I know you guys rant and say stuff like this, but you got to think about what you'd say when you, and especially on the internet, it's going to come back and haunt you. If it doesn't haunt you right now, it's going to haunt you later down the line. So whatever you say now, it's going to affect you forever. It stays forever in the internet. Any kind of shit you say, you know, especially that guy. The... Yeah, he took off that little shit. We'll just keep an eye on him. We'll keep an eye on him if he comes back. I'll, I'll, I'll post his address up for all of you guys to see. Um, let me see if I could block this thing out still. If he comes back, we'll just say, any questions you guys have, any comments, post them up right now. Uh, PDRE Gamer, sorry I meant to ask if you have a video on the gaming system that you put together. Zfixl underscore X, do it my guy. <laughs> do it my guy, I'll do it. Do it my guy, you know. That guy sounds like, sorry, blocked them all again. I have to block somebody. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to keep the audio off. For a bit because um, some people are not really good at let me see if I can keep some audio off sorry guys Look at this guy. Uh, sorry guys, I'm I'm pa I'm pausing for a couple minutes because I'm trying to do something real quick, and I'm just trying to make sure that we we have um, we could find out a couple of things about some people because he's he's daring me to do stuff, so might as well take advantage and do that. stuff that I'm doing sorry I'm trying to um, do some other stuff at the same time but you guys have any questions on this let me know hit me up it's one of those things that I like to answer questions on on Q&A especially on machines especially coming up this holiday what is it that you want to purchase what is it that you want to buy um, some people are buying machines off the market especially like right now everybody's custom making machines just for the web version and then they have gaming machines too now, the gaming machines are 
Um, it, it's it's a hold on. Let me turn something off. Oh, here it is. Okay, some of the gaming machines, even even Amazon and um, everybody's getting on board on the gaming machines, especially for the holidays right now. They're doing a lot of specials. Kmart, Walmart, um, not Kmart. Sorry. Underscore Kenneth. Matthew 2712 keeps spamming me on Skype to come abuse your channel. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I'm going to track this guy down. I appreciate you. Yeah, there's people out in the world that are just spamming stuff and they're not, they don't want to learn stuff, you know. Um, maybe they need love. That's what they, they need, you know. Now, let's talk a little bit about the machine here, right? I'm going to have this machine open. I'm going to take out the video card right now so you guys can see what you guys get. Matthew is sending your stream out to everyone. <laughs> he is? Okay. Let him send the... You know, it's just... There's people out there that are jerks. That's simple as that, you know? They just... They don't want to deal with uh, other people. And that's uh, the way they do. Because they get bullied at school or something's wrong. They live behind a computer. They, you know, they have no life, no girls, no nothing. That's probably what it is. But let him... Hey, he wants to send people. Let him send people. I don't care. As long as... um. We keep it clean, we keep it okay, and we track this guy, and um, we'll send him over. You know, one of those things, I wanna talk about this machine. If you guys are interested, give me your questions that you are interested, but I, I wanna make sure that I could help you guys on the buy and what to get. I mean, this machine itself, uh, out the market right now, it's the cheapest one for um, for gaming right now. And, and the thing that makes it really good, it's actually the video card. It's a RTX 2080 Ti. It's included. Now, the specs on this machine are not the greatest. Just to let you know, they're not the greatest. But the system itself is pretty neat. So it's... Thank you, brother. And just to let you guys know, I, I do do a lot of um, YouTube. I'm actually in YouTube most of the time. So. Thank you, brothers. Thank you for subscribing and coming in here. Um, let me take this apart so you guys can see the whole theme and, and from scratch, all right? Let me just make sure I, I do the right thing in here and put you right the right direction. Now, just to let you guys know, I do have a, a channel and YouTube that I do do a live streaming in here. And I do a lot of gaming, too. I have a lot of... Um, I was a... I do a lot of VR stuff too. I got a whole VR green screen here. I do a lot of shows, different shows. You know, I have two types of shows right now. I have a gaming, networking. I, I have a g networking. Yes, it is. The sure. Let me get that camera in there so you guys can see. Now, let me get that in there right now. There it is. Okay, so here it is. This is the Luki. back up hold on there he goes that's better sorry about that yeah i must have moved the the button so on the machine itself yeah i'm not wearing my banana because i'm not playing the games today i'm going to be playing later on um uh, i was thinking about playing yeah there we go thanks okay so let me talk a little bit about the cpu i actually have a gpu here let me get it out so you guys can see it and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. I'm gonna take it apart so you guys can see some of more more options in there. If I can find the freaking screw, oh here it is. So let's take it apart right now. Let's let's do it from scratch. See what, what you guys get when you buy this one. Now this one's an Amazon right now. It's a cyber PC. I actually met the guys. They're here in the city of industry in California. Um, they're located in this part of California on on City Industry by the 60 freeway. Um, they invited me to their facility, but they didn't give me anything free. They just invited me to go see their stuff and do video reviews for them. 
I say, you know what? I'll do it next time. I don't have the time because it's gas going out there. It's not probably worth it. But what I wanted to do is buy one and bring one here. And I ended up getting this machine. This this one's twenty four hundred dollars right now. The market is pretty good for it. Twenty four hundred dollars. The video card itself is thirteen hundred bucks. The video card is uh, actually a uh, twenty eighty Ti. Let me see if I could take this apart. Now the motherboard's not the greatest motherboard. Um, they 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 freaking they didn't put the good motherboard because if you say you want to buy two of these suckers, let me put it together so you guys can see it. Let me put it side by side right there. Take a little bit more of the space. Oh, this wouldn't mind Minecraft. <laughs> you could build my two. You can make games with this. You know, this system could do much more than just Minecraft. If you're using it for Minecraft, it's an overkill. You need something. You need something simple. You know, you need a Raspberry Pi. You need Jesus. You know that that thing is. The <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny question. I always get asked for Minecraft. Uh, I call it Minecraft, not not Minecraft, all right? Because <laughs> it's it's it doesn't it's a JavaScript game that runs on pretty much anything you could you could throw at it. Um, now, if you're gonna add Minecraft um, distance wise, then I will say, hey, you know that's another system. So let's go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, they run smoothly. Hell yeah. Let me get this out of the way here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this will run everything that you want. This this is a beast. It's a killer beast. Let me make sure I could I don't want to damage the card. <sighs> Cause it's it's a it's a beast of a card. Ah, here it is. Ah, there it is. Damn it, it's stuck in there. I can't get it. Ah. There, almost, almost got it. I don't want to damage it. Oh, there it is, there it is. Ah. Pull back. There it is. Look at this. Three fans. Three fans. See that? It's a 2080 Ti. 2080 Ti. This is the state. This is probably the most expensive card that the system has. It's yeah, and and let me tell you something about this motherboard itself. When you buy this machine, the bad thing about the motherboard is that you can't. If you say you're gonna upgrade down the line, these become like cheap or obsolete, almost to a point that you could buy two of them. Matthew is a bad person. I can block this guy. All right. So once you buy this card, it's two and a half inches thick. Looks like something out of Transformers or something. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. Now the bad thing about this, there's not enough room for two cards. It's only room for one card here, of course. So if you ever have the funds, or you get a birthday money for down the line to buy another machine, this is probably a machine that you don't want to have the motherboard here because the motherboard if you guys let me look at them let me put this down real quick because the motherboard look at let's review the motherboard it's an msi motherboard in here it has a built-in um, wireless card here it comes with the antennas this is the wireless card right here part if you guys see that part um usb base definitely man yeah not the blunt part but yeah we can build computer so on this machine itself the motherboard is not the greatest motherboard they didn't spend too much money this motherboard is 100 bucks you if you buy manufacturer you'll probably get it for 85 bucks you know it's not that expensive motherboard um of course the thing that you buy the spend the money is mostly the actual video card now it does have a 3.7 megahertz 8700k um cpu on it ddr4 memory let's take out one of the ddr4s and show you some of the the memory shields uh, that it has this is a ddr4 it's cheap memory it's made of plastic i don't even not even aluminum i thought it was aluminum it's not even aluminum um it does have a, a seal man right here it's a, it's a cover there's no led lights in there there's nothing to cover it now the C, the the actual memory i'm not sure how many megahertz is the memory it didn't say on the specs i've been trying to find out i even went on the online 
to find out the specs of how many megahertz it has it doesn't say aluminio <laughs> how's that so we're gonna put the memory back where it belongs and remember like the verge right you never put them together side by side they have to be separate from each other and make sure you have this right open lock it in lock it in and you could use a static free but I'm actually in a wood setting right now that I cannot do anything um, aluminum aluminum that's what it is now this whole casing itself these things light up all these lights in fact if you guys see the review I, I'm gonna put on YouTube the review if you want to check it out um, I posted my YouTube underscore X how much dollar you spent on computers CR8DI a microchip is made out of sand let me see he's back so how much money do I spend on machines? Oh, whew. on computers, maybe the most I've spent was maybe seven to eight thousand dollars on a lap on a desktop. And in fact, I have my review here on the YouTube channel uh, where I built the 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 beast the, that it had two video cards. I put two 1080 Ti v, um, Ti video cards on it. Um, I use a i9 um, Intel i9, of course, you know, for the 18 cores. Um, huge um, thermal take um, system I built it it's it's uh, it's taller than this one actually it's the case itself is pretty big that one I I, I spent 7,000 because I put 128 gigs of v, um, RAM the RAM itself was 1400 bucks I used uh, the 4200 uh, megahertz RAM on it I put in massive fans on it make sure it's cooling because that system was made for development. I actually had the most expensive thing I probably purchased this year was probably, uh, I would say, a 3D printer. And uh, I just bought another one right now that I'm going to be building. But I don't want to do it on the stream here because um, it, it, it takes a bit for it. If it's, a, it's one of those um, um, Build-A-Box 3 extended version. And they're cost like $5,000 right now. In fact, I got the box right here sitting here. And I'm gonna, I was going to open it live and do another show on it. But... I, I bought this machine. I wanted to see if you, what you guys think about if you have any Q&A, any questions on it, and see how much it... Yeah, 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 let me show you. Oh, I actually, let me show you a little bit what I do on 3D printing. So, see those statues? I like the little statues, little figures of predators and stuff like that on the top. I collect them. So, instead of me buying them now these days I'm gonna be printing my own and I'm um, talking about liquid cooling I do have a whole liquid cooling system in here um, this case itself it's a thermal take it's a 7x70 huge mother uh, thermal thermal glass in here uh, the the CP the GPU is a 1080 Ti water cooling into the actual GPU and let me see if I can get closer you guys can see it um, I put in uh, the actual pump in here. I was gonna buy another one and set it up on a separately, uh, but I, it's it's overkill. I just have this one right here going into the GPU, out from the GPU to the uh, from the CPU to the GPU and back to the back where there's an actual um, another system in the back of the case itself, which is uh, the 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 radiators, and it's the longer radiator. It's a uh, it's actually it's inside. Do you have to refill the liquid coolant? No, actually, I haven't refilled it for almost um, since I got it. It's been like that, and then you can see the line itself right there. There's a little line. It's like this much being used. Um, I'm not using the high um, volume liquid. I'm using pretty much a water and water base, which is um, the the clean water, which is, is uh, I forgot. It's called uh, I forgot the the name of the water, but the water itself it only has a dye. It doesn't have the thick dye itself. And let me show you something on, on some of the stuff that you guys like to see. Let me bring that up. If you guys want to know more about the GPUs, um, I have a couple of them here. Let me get it out. AZAZ2552, 
That thing looks crazy. Yeah, it's a crazy beast, man. I I spent a lot of time on it, but the most let me show you another thing that you guys will like to know. Let me bring it out. Yeah, unfortunately I can't find it. It's a water cooling base system that I have that I was going to show you guys that I'm going to raffle. It's brand new. I'm going to raffle a couple things out and give out some stuff. So the raffle is going to start in um, November. And um, the last winner, he won a, a mouse, an actual gaming mouse. This time I'm going to start with the Thermal Take Power RBG, R, RGB Lighting. This is a new one. I'm going to give this out as a winner. Um, topping, we're going to Classic give out. What's, new? What's up, Classic Gamer? We're talking about the Cyber PC machine here. No, no. It's free. It's free to enter. So the way it works, if 50 people add, every 50 people that subscribe to the show or subscribe to the raffle i add a second price so i don't trust thermal take you know what i've been using it for quite a while and i i had no problems in fact my two of my machines are sitting here side by side this is a thermal gamer. Yeah, raffle. yeah the raffle is going to start in november on thanksgiving we're going to do out the give out the information so you guys can start working on uh on maybe subscribing and like the way it's going to work Every 50 subscribers or every 50 people that sign up for the raffle, I upgrade the, the actual winning. So we're going to start from something cheap to something great. And the biggest raffle thing that you're going to probably win will be something huge. I'm not going to tell you until you actually see what the specs are. So last year, last time, nobody won this one. This is the actual good mouse. It's a Logitech C903. Included with this, we have the actual charging station. If you guys see this charging station, if you guys are not familiar with this type, it's basically a mouse that you have and it, you don't need to ever charge the mouse. The mouse actually charges through the system itself. So it's a great machine to have. So just to let you guys know how you guys work these things out, it's pretty awesome. So this will be probably the biggest, one of the biggest prices, not the biggest itself because I got some more stuff. I got a water cooling base system that I have, I have to give away. Um, I'm going to give it for the 1080 Ti and a 1080. If you have a 1080 video card or 1080 Ti, I'm going to give it out. Um, we're going to give out... 4K DRE Gamer. GTG, thank you for all the information and keep up the great channel. Oh, no problem, man. No problem. Thanks. We are going to give out this Chrome mouse too. You know, I got all my extra stuff that I got that, that I accumulated. I'm going to get rid of them. Now, my latest project that I've been doing, it's sitting right here. You guys want to take a look at the the project I've been working on? I'll take you a little in-depth insight on, on the actual... So, I like retro gaming a lot. You know, video games is my thing. I like video games a lot so much that I built myself a... Uh, I was going to buy this system where it was going to be one of those... Uh, let me put this down here. I was going to buy one of those systems where... The one-up arcades, and uh, I bought the Street Fighter version of it, but now I ended up returning it because it was shitty. The one-up arcades suck. So what I ended up doing, I, I ended up building my own arcade. Let me show you guys a little bit right here. Look at that. I built my own little arcade here. Uh, let me see if I can reach a little bit more in here and show you guys a little bit in depth in here. So these, these light up. All these buttons here light up. Audio control, shitty job on the paint job. <laughs> I'm not concentrating on the paint job itself. Um, itself, when I open it up in here, I got a Raspberry Pi right now, but I also have a PC I'm gonna install in here. Um, like I said, I built this from scratch. I got the, I, I made plans for it. I like to, to do stuff like this. Oh, okay. These buttons light up. They're pretty awesome. Only arcade system has 32 gigs of pure games, arcade games. That's all it has. It itself, it's small. If you guys see it, it's for sitting purposes. That's what it is for. It's for pretty much you're sitting down on the chair and you play. It's 
screen audio right here on the bottom really awesome guess how much it will cost to make something like this 250 bucks 250 dollars something like this you could build um, instead of buying the $400 version of the one up arcade you could get yourself something like this homemade now I still have the paper that I actually drill the holes in here but I'm gonna put all these drawings and paintings and stuff like that that's why it's a shitty job right now because of the stuff but I want to show you guys a little bit what I do in fact I did one of the videos on it talking about how how to do the wiring itself so the wiring itself is not that hard That's impressive, man. oh thanks man that wiring itself is not very difficult to you buy the buttons you buy the buttons and they they're not expensive either the buttons are really cheap they cost like depends on what you want the ones that got light up they were 50 bucks but you could actually buy them for 12 bucks to up to 30 dollars and you don't have to buy the two sets if you want so when you purchase them they come in a bag they come in bags and you got to put them together and let me show you how simple it is so they give you they give you a couple things how to how to wire them if you guys see them let me show you here how to wire the actual cables and you follow the steps and simple as that and they come with a little motherboard that you plug it in the motherboard is based on a USB and it actually reacts into a, a actual USB controller it kind of recognizes a, as an Xbox or or something uh, some type of controller so if you plug it on the PC or oh, identify it all you have to do is program it so these buttons don't have to line up in the right correct input they could be any of the inputs but as long as you program them so the Raspberry has a little way you could program these buttons very simple and um, just to let you know the easy way if you guys ever buy something like this is you could twist them take them apart here's the um, LED light that you could replace put it back it's very simple to buy these things and program them now simple when you buy something like that remember that the red side always takes a red cord so that's something they don't tell you in the box and you probably have to learn if you guys ever interested in something like that I actually posted a video on on me wiring these kind of things and taking a look at them now they're not that expensive the buttons itself they come with the joystick keys but I don't like their little round keys so I'm gonna change them um, to something else but very inexpensive if you're gonna build yourself one instead of buying one for four hundred dollars why not build yourself one you know it's instead of spending the money now in this case this system right here it, it's it's an overkill for some of you guys if you're gonna play Fortnite this is an overkill if you're gonna play uh, <laughs> Roblox Minecraft overkill you 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 really don't want to overkill on this machine and not use the for the for what it's used for now if you're a game developer and you're working on the BIM which is construction you know building management programs um, if you're working on if you're gonna play Battlefield 5 this is your machine right here 16 gigs of memory um, DD uh, RTX RTX look at this big RTX 2080 Ti video card the card itself like I said is 1300 bucks you know it's an expensive card but this motherboard uh, MSI Z730 does not have enough room for two video cards so but that's an overkill this motherboard is only made for one video card pretty much any questions we'll put this sucker back I don't want to damage it there we go make contact yep oh, oh no I didn't I didn't make contact hold on there he goes Best power supplies are from with the hybrid fan. what do you think best power supplies are seasonable with uh, hybrid fans you know what I find the fans it depends on what kind of fan you want because the cheaper they are they, they you know sometimes they're really good some of them you know like um, the cheapest one I found was probably the the thermal take fans and they're really smooth and quiet in fact I just bought two of them because um, I had bought some from uh, another vendor I think it was uh, uh, I forgot the name of the vendor but I find them they're smoother the ones the, the from the thermal take uh, those are the probably the best ones I've been buying them now they're getting a little fancy with all this crap in there they have RGB lighting they have all these electronics now they're making them heavier so 
if you want to work like these these are crappy fans but they're quiet because they have an intention let me show you some of the stuff in here let me see if i could bring it in here see the fan itself right here there's actually there let me see if i could show you guys well actually i'm gonna show you in this one right here this one here. if you guys see the fan they have little indentations that actually stream the the airflow you know they control the airflow now itself and they're freaking quiet um i i did an in-depth on this machine and it it is quiet you know now the brand itself it's a a pivia never heard of them it might be a chinese brand or hip um some of the machines because some of these machines to build oh man oh man thank you man too legit to quit too legit to quit man yeah, I'm gonna be streaming everywhere. I'm actually in Twitch right now too. I'm I'm doing Twitch and YouTube, uh, Mixer and um, some other places. I've been streaming all day, so I just started streaming this and giving for information. Thank you, too legit to quit. That guy, man, I appreciate you so much, brother, man. Well, you know what? the The power supply is a problem right there. So when, uh, for example, if you're going to spend money on a video card and you're going to be streaming on the on Twitch or YouTube, you want to make sure you have the right power balance because this is a problem I ran into. So I did buy an Omen machine, an HP Omen. Now I found out that the power supply is 750 um, uh, watts. It's not enough. You need actually more. This sucker is a power hog right here. The 1080, uh, the 2080 Ti it's a power hog i'm telling you this now if you plug in your fans and you i mean you plug additional fans you might not work for example i bought a another one that i plugged in all the fans and i overkill with fans i had a extra fans but then when i wanted to put up cd player the cd player didn't want to work as soon as i disconnected the cd player the system started turning on you know so power balance is you have to calculate how much voltage you're going to need now they say that this one actually is, is a power hog especially when you're running an extra uh video games like if you're running high definition games especially that if you're playing because this also had the array system where where you're going to see reflections on on some of the games there's only two games that have that right now it's uh battlefield 5 and tomb raider the newest tomb raider of course now the reflection the ray reflection it's a system where it, it light reflects off of explosion to the water to to a reflection of a car it could be different different ways so the technology that's built on these video cards on the on this one right here it's only for that system and, and it takes a lot and you can hear it running the fans actually run when you're running something like that so when it's using its its force it's gonna you're gonna hear it you know you're gonna hear the fans and in fact my hp omen that i currently run i have a 1080 ti there it, it, it heats up even though if you have multiple fans i still feel a lot of heat coming out of it it's not circling the heat so if not just the power supplies um actually creating heat but the cpu and the gpu now the cpu you don't get too much heat out of it because it's controlled and monitored by the water supply if you have the water cooling supply but you do get a lot of heat from the gpu and the and and the power supply if, like I said, you know, it's one of those things that they automatically generate a lot of heat. Now, the problem I had with with the last thing with this machine I have in the back actually has a thousand watts on it, and uh, I'm able to connect multiple web cameras. So when we do our LAN party, I pretty much use this system itself to monitor the 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 cameras itself because the Omen that I have doesn't have the right power to retain all these web cameras. Like right now I have four or five cameras but I could attach to the system, but I don't because I only need two. So you guys, you know, you don't really need to see me. The, the, the star is here. So if you guys are going to be purchasing something for the holidays and you guys are interested in something like this, the cheapest machine you're going to find right now with this video card is this machine right now. If you go to Amazon and you type in RTX 1080 Ti, desktop this is and it's worth it because we're paying 1300 bucks for the video card no problem oh no problem thank you brother for coming by man and let me know and you know what too legit you you're too too kind all the time man you're 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 my number one i'm your i'm your number one fan and thank you brother 
you know I do this for fun you know and I and I have other stuff I want to open up and talk about it um, like I said I'm gonna do 3d printing and I am gonna unbox a 3d printer we're gonna turn it on from scratch I might just do it tomorrow I have that it's a it's a very expensive 3d printer that we have um, let me see if I could I could bring up something hold on yeah it's called it's a really good one. It's Auto Maker 3 extended version, not the regular version. If you look it up, we're talking about $5,000 machine. It has a built-in webcam in there so you could view the stuff. There's no wires attached to it. You plug it in. You have to actually transfer the v the 3D prints through actual laptop, desktop or or your handheld. Now, when you transfer the prints over, the freaking best part of this machine is that it lines itself up. If you ever done any 3D printing, it the hardest part is to lining up a bed itself. This one automatically adjusts itself and it prints automatically. And it's all retaining within one box so you don't have to worry about, you know, if it has enough heat or anything like that. It's retaining. It's one of those things that it's great. So if you guys want to stick around tomorrow, I'm going to bring that sucker here. We're going to open it up and we're going to print our first printout on that machine. And we're going to talk about it, why I have it, because I'm going to tell you what I do. I like to create stuff. And I'm going to show you a little bit what I created in the last couple of shows here. So, this cartridge, if you guys are familiar with this, if you guys are familiar with this, um, it, it, it's a cartridge, a Nintendo NES cartridge. Now, I put in a Raspberry Pi in there if you guys ever seen it. It's a Raspberry Pi 0 W in here and It it and I 3d printed the bottom base of it if you guys see that it's all 3d brace It's all glued right now. So now this sucker here has all the Nintendo games all the Sega games and a couple arcades here now It's easy you put in a box together you take it and you plug in the power, you plug it into your TV, your monitor, and then your you could plug in your 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 actual game pads, you're ready to go. You take this to any party you want. And this is believe it or not, this is a hot item to build. People are actually doing this stuff. And you might use it once or twice, but it's just pretty much to to have, you know. And and I actually built three of these and I gave them out. And, and I'm actually going to raffle one of these. So if you guys want to make sure you guys um, be part of the raffle on. We're going to start it exactly on Thanksgiving. We're going to open up so you guys can register. This will be an item to win. Now, I cannot send you the games. You're going to have to put them in yourself. But I will send you everything you need. Now, I don't want to get sued by Nintendo or anybody else. So i'm just gonna send you the system and the card itself and you guys put it together and if you guys make it illegal that's your problem not mine <laughs> now i'm also building right now currently i'm building a super nintendo raspberry pi system too i bought these on amazon and i'm gonna do another review on that one later down the line too but for today we're just gonna concentrate on this piece right here and talk a little bit more about how to build this how to get it up and let me tell you what they spent on this one. They didn't spend too much money building this system because um, they use cheap materials. the The case itself, it's a little flimsy, you know. I'm, I didn't like I said, I didn't buy it for the case. I didn't buy it for the motherboard. I bought it for the video card. So this video card is going to be transferring to my current machine, and I'm going to do a video on that. My maybe tomorrow when I transfer it, just to make sure that you guys know what to do or what you're doing. Now, water cooling system. I'm not gonna do a water cooling system on this. I normally would do it, but in this case, I'm not because I want to get to use it how it is right now. I don't want to mess it up because last time I I bought a, a an actual card, I had to modify it itself and because it didn't fit. Now this GeForce, they have a water cooling base system. It's very inexpensive right now and it's cheap, but. I want to enjoy it first before I start modifying it. I mean, I don't want to mess it up because it's we're talking about 1300 bucks for this video card itself. And it's something that I don't want to mess with it yet until I get familiar with it more. So it's one of those things that I like. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe making another video on it. But it's one of those things that I'm going to take my time and just be patient and enjoy it. Uh, when you buy something like this on Christmas, the prices are going to go higher. So right now they're 2,400 bucks, you know, plus tax. You're looking at 25, 26, close to 26, you know, but in Christmas time, you're not going to find this. 
it happened last year when I bought the Omen. I bought it at twenty three hundred dollars. The price went up to almost four thousand dollars. So during Christmas, it's not a good time to buy stuff. Sometimes Black Friday is not a good time to buy. And okay, in fact, Black Friday is what you do. They give you the cheapest shit that they can find, and they add something that makes it hype. You know, this is pretty much similar to what I'm talking about. It's the the whole setup is not the greatest setup, but the actual video card is really good. That's what they do in Black Fridays. You know. 30 they sell 50 inch TVs, but what kind of brand is it? It's a cheap brand sometimes sometimes you don't even know the maker and they don't even last long That's pretty much it. They sell they sell on on a catchphrase on something So when they sell these like um, Walmart's gonna have us a, a gaming PC available They're only adding a, a 1070 video card. It's not even a 1080 or anything like that but they want you and they put Fortnite and they put uh, Fortnite, they put Black Ops, Call of Duty, and other stuff that's very popular on PC right in front of it. They might throw it as a bundle deal. You you'll pay for it because pretty much you're gonna pay you're not gonna see the specs inside. You just know that you can play those games. But when reality, when you take it home and you play those you play those games, you can play the games, but they're not gonna be at a high definition. And that's something you might not like, you know. And, and that's why if like I said, if you have any questions right now, any comments, this is a good time to bring them up. You know, I, I really I really wanna help everybody out there because um as a kid I got help. As somebody helped me down the line I really appreciate them and um, I want to do the same and I don't mind you guys um, um, Somebody on my show, which is a um, classic gamer He wants to know about networking. So on my second show, I am going to do a network We're gonna put a Cisco router together. We're gonna talk from scratch from the beginning We're gonna do a VPN box. We're gonna do all that stuff if you're interested in learning networking on the second show, I'm gonna post it up, and um, I know a classic gamer wants to learn that stuff. And hey, that's my profession. I do that. We're gonna set that up. Uh, another thing is too, if you want to be a streamer, you want to get back into streaming and stuff like that. I'm gonna do a whole segment about that. You know, people have been asking me about setups. Well, I I built, I made a couple shows back in the a couple of months ago, but they were like, I gotta dumb them down. Where where we're gonna start from scratch? We're gonna talk about how to do the OBS and how to do a camera one camera. You know, just basic stuff. If you guys are interested in that too. Um, but we're trying to do more of the educational stuff and I do a lot of gaming at night, you know, just for fun. When I get together with my buddies, we game. We game a lot. Uh, in fact, everybody's hitting me up about when I, what time am I going to play, you know, that's what they're talking about right now. But today is the most important thing is talk about this. I want to know which AIO coolers are good for 140 WCPU 240X120. Oh, you know what? I, I like the Corsair one, the new ones, the couple of Corsairs. They're they're really handy. In fact, some of the Corsairs you can modify them. They do have attachment for different CPUs. Say your CPU is not the right angle or right right fixture, they do have live different casings. Now they have two versions on the Corsair. There's there's one that's a standalone, pretty much it's just the actual base that touches the CPU, but there's another one that actually you actually actually buy the base itself that goes on the CPU and you drill it in. You don't drill it in, you screw it in, and the base itself kind of screws in and from the top. I do have one of those somewhere in here, and I wish I can show you the stuff, but I don't have it in hand. I I just remodify. I'm still cleaning up this place right now. It's a mess right now, and uh, I I wish I can show you that. In fact, you know what? Give me a second and I'll I'll, I'll find it. You want him? You want me? Hold on, hold on. I'll I'll bring it back. I think I know where it is. Yep, here it is. Yeah, I thought I had it. I, it's not in the right case. Um, I moved things around here, and I'm still cleaning up a couple of things here. But I don't have everything in my in my possession here, where I can show you some of the stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't have that right now. I have one right now that I was gonna show you and demonstrate you how it works. And it's a great system to have when you're gonna build a machine. But Corsair is a really good one. 
for your for, for your your dimensions. I will take a look at them because seriously, those dimensions. They're let me see if, what kind of the, who has a better one. Because I, I use Corsair most of the time for those kind of things for water cooling based system. Now, the Corsair I have in the back, I'm gonna show you guys again. I'm gonna talk to you about it a little bit. This Corsair here, let me see if I could, this one right here, let me remove some of the screws here so I could open it up for you guys. I have a little mess in here, but <laughs> I'm gonna remove some of the cord, some of the stuff here so you guys can see it. Remove this cable. Now, this one right here, the water cooling base system, it, it, it is a thermal tape, but there's a lot of knockoffs now these days. There's so many of them now that it's hard to actually predict on how long they last. Now, I had this one for quite a while, but I still don't trust water cooling base system for overnight, like leaving it 20. Uh, this one I left 24 seven already and it worked well, but you know, when you built it yourself, you sometimes check yourself twice or you don't, or, or you don't really trust yourself that <laughs> that you leave it on you know that day I left it on I couldn't sleep my first time I built the sucker I couldn't sleep I literally had to come back twice <laughs> in the night just to make sure it's running because um, it's you know when you're building your first first ones and what I recommend you sometimes when you're building something like this if it's your first time don't use the glass glass is very difficult especially if you don't know how to bend the glass all right Use the, the plastic version, right? This plastic is not that bad, you know? It works right well. Here. I leave my PC always on. Yeah, yeah, you could leave it on. I mean, but if it's your, if, did you built it? If you built it, it, it's one of those things, do you trust yourself sometimes? It's one of those things that I thought about it so many times. So I do, in fact, right now it's super quiet because I am using a, a, a thermal take fan here, thermal take in the top. Um, thermal uh, pretty much the whole system's thermal ticket other than this this um, monitoring system that I have down here if you guys see it it's a monitoring system to to control every fan so I could even quiet down the fans itself the system was not that very expensive it was like 20 30 bucks you know you buy in different facilities they have different brands too but I ended up buying a digital one where you could actually touch different fans they actually you touch it and it tells you what fan what rpms is running what's the speed you could slow it down you can modify it to be quieter. It's pretty much that's what you do. Now, on some cases, they have two of these for the water cooling. They have two of them, the pumps, in case it it breaks down. Now these days, pumps are getting super small. There, you don't actually have to spend the money on buying a huge pump just like this one. This one, the pump itself was two hundred and fifty, but. But that, I bought it when it was hot, you know, when it was brand new. Now you could buy it cheaper, you know, it's under 150 bucks, uh, even 70 bucks, you could buy it. Now, I don't recommend you buying an unknown brand because if you guys read the fine print, this one came with warranty on it. If it says that if you don't, you know, if you have problems or something happened, it's easy to call thermal take and they just return it. If your pump's not working or flushing the water properly, then, then that's something you have to do. Now, one thing they tell you when you actually built the water pump, you cannot leave it with anything on it. You have to have something in order to make the pump work. Now, there is a little draining pump here. There's a little draining hole here. This part right here is you could add more water to it from here. And I'm going to open it up because nothing happens. Uh, normally, I open it up so it could release any kind of air bubbles that it has. So sometimes when you have air bubbles in here, open it up, it releases them. And here's the moisture, the extra moisture, just you can see it here on the top. But it used to be all the way to the top, but slowly it starts evaporating, you know, slowly. So when it gets down here, maybe I'll replace it some more. I'll add it some more. Now, one thing I don't recommend, and i seen this and it was a problem, that people are using the heavier fluids for this system and it's clogging the systems itself you know especially if you have vents especially on the gpu if you're running on the gpu itself there's a lot of vents that has to go in the water through it, it might clog your gpu that it's not going to get the proper cooling my recommendation is use the clear fluid um dye is fine but don't use the one that has like the the extra extra thickness you know of it try to use something simple something you could replace you know um 
if you have my if I were to go back into a drawing board and redo this I would add another different hole on the side of it so I could drain it out that's something I didn't do it like another little system where I could just drain it out as an emergency or something that's something that I would probably recommend you now this is plastic it's not that hard to bend you know it's very simple um, it didn't take me that long but you do need a sharp tool to cut it and I use scissors during the time that's why I didn't trust it leaving it overnight but the, the, it was seamless the cuts were seamless and uh, and it's been on I left the 24 7 already to test it out already I, I had it on it's been running for months already this one's already it stays on sometimes and I just leave it on and I don't even turn it off but the system itself it's pretty good now I could control the lighting itself there's a button that I have for the actual RGB lighting I added extra lighting here if you guys see it the I'm sorry the fan almost hit me the lights up here and I turn them red right now I could change every I can manipulate the color on the actual GPU the CPU and I can't ma manipulate this one but I can manipulate the top ones and the bottom ones that's pretty much the beast beast number one you know that I have um, any questions any other things I'm leaving <laughs> any questions you have and concerns on the new machine no, so this one I'm gonna put I'm gonna post later on the link today the actual review on it and I did a benchmark on it and uh, It was not that bad. It was not that bad. I mean for to get up and go It's a great machine and like I said Christmas around the corner people are gonna be asking questions and it's something that you want to take a look at it and um, If you guys like what you see, you know hit me up tell me let me know and then you know too legit to quit I appreciate you brother thank you very much for those the donation and I and I, I you know you, you're too kind all the time you know like I say I like to do this for fun educational purposes I'm gonna continue on and and you motivated me to continue so I'm, I'm gonna continue doing these things uh, and once occasionally we get somebody that doesn't belong in our stream you know they 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 like to say stuff and then when I ran in the morning when I earlier today when I started running on that guy you know, it just it just click. I just click. I'm sorry, and I apologize to some of you guys, but thank you guys for subscribing and coming in and let me know. Uh, hit me up. I'm gonna bring in the the full in depth more on this machine on the next video. Right now, it's just Q and A on it. If you guys are interested in buying the machine down the line, this is probably something that you're gonna look into. And also, if you guys are interested in more of the retro gaming system that I have here, that I built from scratch. I'm going to be playing some of the games that I put in there. Uh, right now, I only put arcade stuff. That's all I did. Only arcade. Nothing fancy in there. It's only Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. All the classic games are going to be in there. That's all I want it for. Nothing else. You know, Street Fighter, all that stuff. So during the LAN party, uh, we had a little tournament uh, of Street Fighter. And it was fun. Everybody had a great time. So now I wanted to build myself a, a, a whole system, a retro system, just so... It won't go anywhere and I could just come back in here. I am going to add a quarter system in the, in the unit itself, but it might be down the line. It might be another electronic uh, video I might make right now. Um, there's a couple things I'm, I'm going to fix that on, on a couple streams. If you guys want to check out the other show, I'm going to solder a couple things together that, that broke down. If you guys ever bought a little machine like this, a little Dell a Pl Optiplex. I forgot which version is this. Optiplex... 320 little awesome machine but the problem is with these machines they break down the with the wireless device when you twist it too much it actually re, um, rips the cord apart and that's something I'm gonna fix on the next one um, if you guys are interested in looking at that stuff how to put it together how to fix it we're gonna do 3d printing oh my god I just can't wait to start this new 3d printing on this machine I want to start testing it out uh, I got a couple of great 3d prints. I'm gonna start doing we're gonna airbrush the stuff doing a live stream too Also, I like to do art, you know, I like to draw and paint so might as well put it in here I'll dedicate to you know science fiction, you know I'm gonna do a couple of predators a couple of dark vaders and see you guys like it, you know And I appreciate all of you guys coming down and too legit to quit man That guy is my number one guy and he deserves a lot of stuff Out of me man. I'm gonna hit you up man. I'm gonna give you some free swag, right? I'll hit you up brother and let me know. Thank you guys for subscribing and coming in and thank um too legit to quit for the donation. I appreciate and I'll come back later on the stream, maybe come back and play a couple of games later down the line. Be and then I'll post the next video so you guys take take a look at it and let me know, all right? And we're going to call it a stream guys and we'll come back later. Thank you guys.